Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Dave from Apple Unlimited. Uh, today, what I figure we could do is make a video explaining how to use your iPhone as a remote control for iTunes. Now, think of the benefits. If you are, for example, cleaning your house and you have your music on your computer, uh, and you are across the house and you want to skip to the next song, you can very easily do that. Uh, that's one of the benefits. Uh, and it, it does use your Wi-Fi. Um, so when I think of a typical remote, like a TV remote, I have to be close to the TV, I have to point it at the TV. Uh, not anymore. This uses Wi-Fi, so no matter where you are, as long as you're connected to the same Wi-Fi, it'll work instantly and easily. Another use that I use it for is, even if I'm at my computer listening to music, doing emails or whatever, and it is actually faster to use my phone to skip to the next song as opposed to minimizing my email, pulling up iTunes, skipping it, minimizing iTunes, pulling up email, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is delete my current iTunes remote off of my phone uh, so you can have a fresh install of it for you. Um, so all you have to do is go to the App Store and do a search for the iTunes remote and then download it. So once you get to it, you want to add a device. Uh, it's going to ask you to pair it with your computer. So from here you go up to your iTunes library. This little box right here. Click on that. It's going to ask for the number. So let's do that real quick. 8276. There we go. Pretty easy, right? And now whatever songs you have playing on your computer will be mirrored on your phone. You can easily skip songs, change albums, whatever you want to do. Pretty cool. All right, well, thanks for following along. I hope this helped. I hope everyone does this and gets a lot of use out of it. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Dave, and we'll see you soon. Still like that. <laughs> <laughs>